Okay, I'm going to remove this sleeve. And the first thing I do is I want to mark where the old sleeve was. So I use masking tape and I'll put some right around the shaft so I know where, how far on the other sleeve was. I've got a screwdriver. This is actually a, a thin Phillips screwdriver and a cordless drill. And you remove the six. You remove the six the six screws first. I won't take them totally out. Then you can pry with a chisel in between the, the pieces, the two separate pieces, and slowly pry down. And the sleeve will will pop off from the glue. The glue most times will remain on the shaft but the sleeve will come off. So the sleeve came off, leaving the glue intact on, onto the shaft. There's uh, two sections where the glue, the glue is injected, and that's where, where it is on the shaft. So I'll use a heat gun, or you can use a torch to heat the glue that's remaining, and, and then you can get it off. You have to be really careful for a couple of different reasons, you have to be careful not to get yourself with a chisel, but you also have to be careful not to damage the shaft. Um, once, once the sleeve has been bonded on the shaft, you have to destroy the glue to get it off. So you can't really use the same glue. Uh, if, if you put another sleeve on this glue, most of the time the, the pitch won't be the same because each sleeve, when it's manufactured, it's milled individually. And you, you can try to put, put a sleeve back onto the same glue, but then you run the risk of having the pitch being way off, or perhaps the glue eventually becoming loose from the shaft. So the best option is to remove all the glue and install new glue with a new sleeve. I think that's about right, right there. I think we'll. We'll give it a try. If it doesn't come off easily, you can heat it back up again. Yeah, this one's coming off pretty well. Again, you pry in between the shaft and the glue, and you can pop the glue off. If you're lucky, it'll come off in pretty much one section. You pry away. The other thing is you get the right temperature, and it'll pop right off. The glue does quickly deteriorate with the heat, so it makes it pretty easily. You want to make sure you're not, you don't damage the shaft when you're using a chisel to remove any excess glue, because you can, you can um, easily gouge the shaft or pull up a, some carbon fiber material if you're not careful. So you don't want to bear down too hard when you do it. All right, the sleeve I just removed was a black sleeve. Um, depending on the vintage of your oars, you may have a white sleeve, a black sleeve, or a green sleeve. Um, we recommend that you replace any of those sleeves with our new green sleeve. It's made out of a much more durable material, and it should last a really long time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screws out of this green sleeve. That's the first step in putting a new sleeve on. You can, if you can loosen them up without having them come out totally, that works pretty well. They sort of stay in there. I've got one that came out, but I can put that back in. If you loosen them up, you can pull the two halves of the sleeve apart. Put the new sleeve over the shaft, and it sort of fits down into the, the grooves, fits together nicely. Then I like to put the sleeve on a little bit outboard of where it goes because it's easier to hold on to and screw together. Then once you've got the six screws in, you can slide the sleeve up to where it's supposed to, supposed to go using the tape mark as a reference to where, it, where it's supposed to go to. So once you get all the screws on, the other, the other point is each of our sleeves has... Um, 
two markings on it. It has a P and an S. P for port and S for starboard. So when you're pitching a, a new sleeve, you want to make sure if you've got a port side blade, then you've got the P up. That's what you're, you're pitching it on the port side. So right now I've got, I've got the P that's showing here where the level's going to go, and that's aligned with the blade face down. So what I do is I'll put this on the pitch fixture. I've got this set up oriented as a port with a P. That's a port blade. And then I'm ready to, to inject some glue into the sleeve and then, and then pitch it. Okay, I'm ready to inject the glue into the sleeve. I've got it set. I've got it roughly pitched correctly, oriented with the, the right letter, the port with the port side blade. And I've got this 400 milliliter two-part urethane that we use. Um, this, this type of gun is very helpful if you're doing um, a set of ores or multiple sets. You can also use our 50 milliliter smaller cartridge, two-part urethane. That works good as well. Um, it takes a little more glue. Um, the 50 milliliter cartridge doesn't hold quite as much glue and it takes a little more to fill it. Um, if you're doing a set or a few sets, it's pretty helpful to use the bigger, the bigger one because you can get a lot more done with it. <clears throat> what I'm doing right now is I'm running some of this, the first shot of this glue coming out of the tip, I'm actually putting onto the paper towel because it may not be mixed quite right. Okay, I'm ready to glue it. <clears throat> you inject it in the center hole of the sleeve and you watch until it starts to come out the two bleed holes on the same side. As soon as it comes out the bleed holes, then you know it's full. <clears throat> yep, it's there. You turn it over and fill up the other side the same way. Goes in the center hole. Takes a few pumps and it'll come out the bleed holes. <clears throat> there it goes. Once it's full, then you turn the blade so it's resting on the jig. Put the level on and then turn it so it's pitched correctly. I've got a zero, zero degrees of pitch here. And so that's that. Now I'll let it set for a while until it, um, it hardens and then we can work on something else. Okay. After installing um, the new sleeves onto the shaft and picking the, the excess glue from the bleed holes and the injection holes, you need to install a set screw into the shaft. And that is done at one of the bleed holes, the bleed hole that's closest to the handle side. Um, what you need to do is use a 5 64th drill bit and drill through that bleed hole into the shaft, drill a hole. The sleeve has already been countersunk. Then the tiny set screw gets installed using a small Phillips screwdriver or drill until it's flush. And that's it.